Hey guys, FCP Pokey here, and this is finally going to be another episode of Lehigh Valley Raw Counting. Special thing about this episode, I am going to tell you guys the rules I have set in place for myself that you could also set in place for yourself when you're looking for Indian arrowheads, Indian tools, um, well, Native American arrowheads, Native American tools quartz gemstones, any sort of nice minerals and gemstones you want to find. Um, and this applies mainly to Pennsylvania, but other rural areas with cornfields is what we're going to be focusing on. So for this video, which I believe is episode four of Lehigh Valley rock counting, I'm going to tell you guys my rules for rock counting on cornfields. Rule number one, get permission. Get permission from the farmer or whoever owns the land before you go looking for anything on that cornfield. If you cannot get permission, the following rules you can attempt at your own risk. Now, the following rules I'm about to tell you are careful rules. They're very conservative of the land and respectful, but like I said, if you can't get past rule number one, which is to get permission from the farmer or the owner of the land, the following rules attempt at your own risk. That being set aside, rule number two, if you cannot get permission from the farmer or the owner of the land, make sure that the land you're about to go on, that there's no plants or vegetation or anything growing at the time. Because obviously you can't do ground scores anyway of gemstones or arrowheads if there's plants and stuff in the way anyway. So if you see corn out, if you see any potato plants or anything growing there, just avoid the cornfield. Don't go on it because if you go trampling plants, and especially if there's cameras around, you're going to regret that when you get a notice in the mail from the local sheriff saying that you're wanted. Rule number three don't leave any trash there don't it's the basic rule of nature too um oh, what is it uh take only memories leave only footprints and that applies exactly to this do not leave any trash keep your if you empty out your water bottle keep your water bottle inside your pack at all times uh rule number three ugh. This kind of applies to rule number one, but don't be looking for quartz gemstones or anything on farmland where there's a house smack dab in the middle. Like if you see a farmhouse or something that's in the middle, or if it's at a vantage point where the farmer can easily see you if he comes back and you weren't able to get his permission because he's not there. If you see like a house that's at a vantage point, just avoid it at all costs because you're really just you're risking your legal safety there um rule number i think we're at five now i forgot how to count but rule number five look for cornfields that are not only empty of vegetation you're mostly looking for uh rocky uh bed rocky kind of hills look for those kind of cornfields and make sure there's no farmhouses or any kind of house of any, any sort in the middle or at any uh, vantage points. Mostly, you want to be focusing on what I like to call remote cornfields, which is a lot of farmers these days, well not a lot, but some farmers these days have decided to have their, uh, their cornfield in a separate area with no farmhouse or anything on it, and then they themselves live somewhere else so they would go to their cornfield and get done whatever need they need to get done and then they go back to their regular house um, near me I actually have one of those right on top of my neighborhood we have what's known as a remote cornfield and the farmer lives somewhere else um, there is a house there but um, there it's further down the lane and they don't own the land somebody else owns the land now I got permission for going on that cornfield so I'm okay, um, but at the same time, it is remote, so as long as I'm not leaving any trash or digging, you know, I should be fine. 
and my last rule, don't be digging in the cornfield. Focus on ground scores. Don't be breaking rocks. Don't be doing no digging, no breaking rocks. Just be looking for ground scores. If you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you're gonna rock hound on cornfields, I would highly suggest ground scores only. Which is, you see something on the ground and it's loose, you pick it up. Don't be breaking rocks. Don't be digging. And again, as I said, if you can't do rule number one, the rest is at your risk. But Anyway, you guys have fun rock hounding, and if you want, comment below. You can, uh, I think you can put Twitter links and Facebook links in the comments these days, so put a link and let me know what you found. See you next time.